Hello and welcome everyone to the Olympia Dynasty. We're back here with game two taking on the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Big Red here in Nebraska. And of course, you remember former offensive coordinator Bob Stitt. The uh, Nebraska Cornhuskers also feature Dre Morris, the running back, and Matt Fitzpatrick, both seniors, who will be leaving for the NFL after the season. We will see how it goes coming up soon after this. Off we go here in Nebraska. Rudy Rutherford to return this one from the three yard line. Gets it out to the 20, a little spin move down to the 27. And that is where the Olympia offense will take the field for the first time today. Under center coming out here, a set. It's gonna be a handoff. Eddie gonna bounce it left and breaks it outside. Picks up 10 yards, actually make that 11. That's a first down. We had a very successful rushing attack in our first game. Would like to see the passing game get a little more use. Now rolling out. Wesley Dunmore misses Steve Cox. Had him open on the bootleg there. Just missed the pass. Second and 10 eye formation. Now it's a pitch out to Eddie Jong. It's actually a pass, and he's going to throw this one up. And he's got Steve Cox who hangs on. What a nice throw from our running back, Eddie. And a great catch from Steve as we've run that play twice now with really good success. Now Eddie going to run this one out for six yards on the power O there. Make it third down and one. Five wide. Dunmore's going to take it up the middle and picks up about five yards. Give us a new set of downs. Make that first down. First and 17 now. Looks like we've got a twin backfield set here as well as a fullback. And Justin Bright's going to take the handoff. Bright going to run this one for 17 yards. And that's a first and 10. What a nice play there. Now Schuster in motion, shotgun jumbo set. Dunmore breaks the tackle, throws this one in the end zone. It's broken up, meant for Stitch Robinson. Broke the sack, threw it up, could have been picked off. Third and 10 now, Dunmore throws this one out. Caught Schuster at the one yard line. 15 yard catch for the senior wideout. Second and goal now, I formation, motion. Pitch out, Jong untouched end zone. Eddie Jong scores his first touchdown of the day, and the lead is 7-0 for the number 18 Olympia Raiders. McClellan in Nebraska, back on now on offense, actually, for the first time. And they get Dre Morris involved immediately, but he's going to get nothing there. James McIntosh takes him down in the flat. Second and 10 handoff. Dre Morris brought down in the backfield. Nice play there by Mark Walker, the cornerback. Third and 11, McClellan dropping back. Throws this one up. Caught! Smith for a first down, and the Cornhuskers are going to keep the drive alive. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. McClellan dropping back. Throws this one across the middle. Matt Fitzpatrick catches that one for a first down. The 10-yard catch and run for the senior wideout. Fitzpatrick actually the number one receptions leader in the career of a Nebraska wide receiver core. First and 10 now. Handoff. Stewart, the relief running back, and he'll lose yards there. Three of them to be precise. Pele Latu with the big time tackle for loss. Now second and 13. McClellan dropping back. He's going to roll to the right, and he gets sacked. Pele Latu comes up with the play, and something we didn't get very much of last week was pass rush. Third and 21. McClellan throws this one out wide, and it's gone. Fourth and 21. That was not even catchable. And that'll be Olympia Ball again. Hand off Jong up the middle there. It's a four yard run. Second down and six now for the Raiders. Second and six. Hand off Eddie up the middle. Another big time run. Eight yards there. Jong has been all over this game so far. 30 yards rushing in just the first quarter. First and 10. Tate in motion. It's a play action. And Jong going to throw this one up. Schuster's got a step. Catches it. Breaks the tackle. Touchdown. Zach. Schuster's 62-yard bomb on the play action. And that right there is more than we got all last week. Schuster had one catch for 15 yards last week. Already has topped that in one catch today. Well, I'll make that two catches, rather. But Dre Moore's six-yard run as the Cornhuskers run this for six yards. Second down and four. 
Now third and four in the gun, McClellan and Dre Morris. McClellan gonna drop back here. He's got plenty of time. He's gonna throw this one up for grabs. Sean Pratt leaps the route. Jumps the route meant for Fitzpatrick. And you can't blame Matt Fitzpatrick there. That's McClellan for throwing an underball. Matt Fitzpatrick had a step. But Sean Pratt cuts off the underthrow and picks it off. First and 10 now on offense. Dunmore gets sacked. Five yard loss there as he can't escape the pressure. Second and 15. It's a counter. Jong up the middle, however. And he'll pick up 13 yards on this one to make it third and three. And we will go into the second quarter with a 14 0 lead. Third and three. Chance to make it a three score game coming up soon after this. And here we are in the second quarter, third down and three. It's a QB sweep, and Dunmore powering through the hit will pick up the first down. See a lot of these designed QB runs here with Wesley Dunmore under center. Now throwing this curl route to Ty Kreese, and he spins inside and picks up a few extra yards. That's gonna be a 20-yard catch for Kreese, who did also not have a good game last week. Now, man in motion, it's a handoff. Jong cuts inside, spins inside, actually gets rocked down after a six-yard run. But a really nice play there. Now, third and one, handoff. Tate up the middle first. It's about a four-yard run, and this Olympia rushing game has been so good. Second and 10 now, however, inside the red zone. QB wrap here. Dunmore brought down for a loss on the play. So they uh, did their homework on that one and come up with the TFL. Third and 11, Dunmore dropping back. Throws this one up for grabs, Jong's got it! What a nice flag route there for Eddie Jong out of the backfield in the go-go. And suddenly, the Raiders have a three score lead once again. Now Stewart almost gets picked off Sam Franklin. McDonald catches this one down to the 41. And Sam Franklin gambled on an interception there, came up without anything really. And Nebraska gets a big game because of it. Running this one out, holy top five yards, second down and five. Now third and five, McClellan dropping back. He's gonna throw this one out, and I'm not sure where that was supposed to go. His receiver's not eight feet tall, and they'll go for him, fourth and five. Chance to get off the field for Olympia. McClellan runs out of time and throws this one into the dirt. He got hit there by Pelier and just threw the ball in the dirt. First and 10, Go-Go and Jong motioning out wide. It's gonna be a flag route to Schuster. Schuster out at the 40 yard line. And Zach Schuster has already eclipsed 100 yards. What a 180 from last game. Now triple option, Dunmore pitches it out Rutherford. A lot of green in front of him at the 20, the 10, the five, and steps out at the four yard line. Second down and goal now under center. Dunmore dropping back, sacked. And he's brought down for a four yard loss. Now the Cornhuskers a chance to force just three. Dunmore dropping back. Bides his time and finds Eric Dawson on the deep end. And that's an eight yard touchdown catch for Dawson. And the score is 28 to nothing. Insane. Dre Morris now a two yard run. And they haven't really gone to him and he's now shaken up on the play. That is their number one player, Dre Morris down on the field. Clellan on third and eight, too much time in the pocket. Throws it over the middle, Devin McKinney picks it off. Second interception for McClellan, and I'm not sure who he was looking to there. First and 10, five wide. Dunmore throwing this one up, he's got Schuster! Touchdown! What a touch pass! Wesley Dunmore with a probably his greatest pass in his collegiate career. A small window in the back of the end zone as we find out Dre Morris out for the game with the concussion, and that will end, I mean that, that's, that's going to end his game at least, might end a few more games in his senior season, as Anthony Stewart a 12 yard run, what a throw from Dunmore, and what a route by Schuster, these two really have concocted quite the connection, McClellan here on second down and five gets sacked, Pelier Latu's had his handprint all over this game, and he forces third and 13 now. McClellan throwing this one up, caught. A window in the zone there for Travis Smith. We've seen a lot of zone from this Olympia defense this year. And uh, sometimes it gets them beat. Throwing this over the middle, intercepted again. Sean Pratt, and that was just a bad throw for McClellan. As Sean Pratt is now tied 
the interception record in a game for Olympia. Two. We'll see if he can break that. Now Dunmore throwing it deep into Schuster for 18 yards. And Zach Schuster has absolutely taken over this game. Screen pass out to Eddie Jong. He'll pick up about four and step out of bounds. That'll force a long field goal here. About 50 yards and pulled right. Not even close for Phil Givens as Matt Fitzpatrick will return this one. And he gets about 23 yards. And that will end the first half as your Olympia Raiders go into halftime 35-0 over the Nebraska Cornhuskers. I did not see this happening. Boo's raining down here in Big Red. We'll see it in the second half. And we start the second half here. First and 10. McClellan dropping back. We'll throw this one on an angle route to Stewart. He'll pick up nine yards there. Stewart might get the lead back roll now with Trey Morris out. Second down and one. Play action to Stewart. McClellan going to throw this one up. Picked off. McIntosh's second straight interception in two straight weeks. And that is four picks for McClellan. I'm not sure I've ever seen more interceptions in an Olympia game. Five yard run there for Eddie Jong. Let me get second down and five. Now third and three. Weak eye formation here. Cox gonna motion out to the left. Make it strong side now. And it's a stretch for Jong. And he's got the first down and then some. 11 yard run there for him. Jong has had a fantastic game so far. 67 yards. Second down and nine. Dunmore screen pass. Rutherford catches it despite it could have been picked for six. And Rutherford down to the one. What a play from the slot receiver, and it's second and goal. Hand off, Jong, touchdown. And your score is 42 to zero. Never thought I'd see this. McDonald, 19 yard catch over the middle. Nice play there for Nebraska. This is a game that we were expected to win, but this was supposed to be competitive, and it's just been a really a slaughter so far 15 yard catch there for Anderson now first and 10 at the 40 yard line McClellan dropping back and he's got plenty of time in the pocket find Smith on the crossing pattern there and that'll be third and six now McClellan dropping back and time's running out lots who gets to him McDonald catches it into the end zone what a way for their first touchdown a play that Olympia could have made I'm not sure how we don't come down with the pick here. Latu almost gets the sack too. Just a nice throw there by McClellan. Nice catch, nice effort. So back on offense, second and 10. Hand off Jong on the read option and that'll be a first down, 10 yard run for him. Jong approaching 100 yards on the day. He's about 20 away. First and 10, play action. Dunmore dropping back. Uh, I'm not sure if he had anybody open there. He's gonna take off and run with this one. Picks up 11 yards. And we haven't seen him run too much today. Only nine yards carried so far. Third and eight. And Dunmore making some adjustments. I'm not sure what he's seeing out there. The screen pass to Ty Crease mid, mid screen there. And Crease picks up the first down. He's got the speed to make stuff happen with his feet. First and 10 play action. Dunmore brought down by the blind side. Never even saw that one. Second and 16 now. Sweep for Hawthorne. He'll pick up about seven yards here. Actually gets back up on his feet and ends up getting about eight yards out of the play. So nice second effort there. Makes it third and seven. Dunmore dropping back. So in a roll out to the right. Throws this one and it's almost picked off. I think he had someone open in the flats there he could have bailed out to. So a rare punt here for Olympia. And they're going to throw this one on first down. Almost picked off by Devin McKinney. Would have been his second of the game. Now second and 10, McClellan dropping back, throwing this one up, caught Smith, Smith down to the 38 yard line, it's first and 10. Now second down and 10, one minute remaining in this third quarter, McClellan dropping back, throwing this one up, he's got a target, beat James McIntosh, you don't see that very often. Stewart now a nice run down to the about 13 yard line, make that an 8 yard run. Second down and two now. Hand off to Murphy. Brought down for a loss. Three yards on the play. And that will take us to the fourth quarter with your Olympia Raiders up 35 points in a just dominating game here. We'll see it in the fourth. Watch the ball, watch the ball. 
We start off this fourth quarter, third down and five. McClellan dropping back. And he's going to throw this one back to the end zone, out of bounds. No good. Fourth down. Of course, the Cornhuskers will go for it. Might as well. McClellan dropping back. Throws this one up for grabs. Caught by Fitzpatrick. But he had to come back to that one because it was such a high pass. And that's short of a first down. Turnover on downs. Back on offense now, and the backups are in. Chris Mason checks in. They'll get four yards on this read option. Now they get third down and six. Third and six, Pride in motion. It's a handoff to Darrell Ramsey, and he'll pick up two yards. Not too much going on there, and Olympia punts. So first and 10 at midfield for the Cornhuskers. Pretty good field position. McClellan throwing this one out to Smith. Hot four, nine yard game there. Make it second down and one. Kill, kill, kill. And now well, here's second down and five. McClellan throwing this one out. Picked off. Mark Walker make that five interceptions for McClellan and this Olympia defense. First and 10, read option. Mason will keep it. And he picks up 11 and the first down there. What can we say about this Olympia defense that's been so good today? Chris Mason, play action. He'll throw this one out. And the route gets undercut by Mooney. And that is a turnover. First and 10 now. McClellan back on offense. Still sticking with their starters. And Matt Fitzpatrick catches this for seven yards. And he gets rocked down. Now second down and three. McClellan throwing this one to Murphy over the middle. And he'll get down to about the 31-yard line. Now first and 10. Third and 10. Empty set here for McClellan. In the gun. Dropping back. He's going to throw this one out to Smith. Caught but short of a first down. That'll be fourth and six. And the Cornhuskers will stay on the field. No shocker here. Fourth down and six. McClellan dropping back. Throws this one caught. Matt Fitzpatrick for a first down. You can see who he's defaulted to on these fourth down situations. Fitzpatrick 15 yards and a first down. McClellan throwing this one out. Smith catches it into the end zone. And the Cornhuskers drop their second touchdown of the day. Now on offense, Bill Chambers throwing this one up, and it's picked by Leach. So, so far, we haven't really seen greatness from the backup quarterbacks here for Olympia. It's first and 10 now for the Cornhuskers. McClellan throwing this one up for grabs. Mark Walker's beat. Andrews, 30, 22, brought down by Mark Walker. He has not impressed as much as I hoped he would, and now it's a handoff to Murphy. And the Cornhuskers have a chance to make this look like a more respectable game, but I mean, really, it's worse than the scoreboard indicates. First and 10, McClellan to the end zone, touchdown, Pennington. And the Raiders will get the ball once again. And uh, Justin Bright gonna bounce this outside, nice running. Spins inside to pick up an extra five yards, and I've loved Justin Bright's run game so far. First and 10. We really get to see what he can do as a lead back now. Bright bounces this out wide, and he'll pick up about 10 yards. It'll be first and 10. Nebraska taking timeouts. I don't think it matters. Buck sweep here to Adam Henry on third and 10, and the redshirt freshman will pick up about four yards, but well short, and will kick a field goal. So 24-point game, three scores with two minutes left, and almost picked off McClellan there. And that will all but do it in this game. Bill Chambers takes the knee. And Olympia is winners of two straight, beating Nebraska and Utah. Former coordinator and in-state rivals. Wesley Dunmore, player of the game. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. Have a good one.